The Goal Seek tool is from the What If Analysis tool. You can find the value of one cell by adjusting another. Let me show you a practical example of where this will be used. I've got a spreadsheet here set up with the student grades. We have the students name listed in the columns A and B and their math results in column C, English in column D, and we have not got the science results yet. And in column F, we have the overall average score. Now the average is set up with the formula which calculates the average of three grades, maths, English, and science. And obviously, there isn't a science result yet, so that's just working out the average of these two at the moment. If a value is entered in this cell here, the overall average will change. So if the first student, for example, managed to get 86%, we can see the average immediately changing to 81. But what about if the teacher wanted to let each student know what their target grade in science will need to be in order to be able to make sure the overall average grade is a particular target? So let's say, for example, that we would like this first student, David Jones, to achieve an overall average of 82 percentage. He managed to get 70 in maths, 88 in English, and would like him to have an overall average of 82 percentage. So what does that mean that he will have to get in science exam to make sure that he has an at least of 82 percentage of overall score? Well, we can try typing in some numbers. Let me try 75. That'll bring this average down. So let's try typing in 80. This average has gone up, but it's not enough. So let's try 85. Okay, 85 means he's got an average of 81. So let's try 86. No, still not enough. So let's try 87. There we are. 87 is what he needs to get in science to achieve an overall average of 82 percentage. Now you see how time consuming that is to try to guess what the value that needs to be in order to be able to get a particular target. So instead, we can use the Goal Seek tool to calculate it easily. Let's take the second student here, Haley Andrews. She's got 84 in maths and 69 in English. So what I need to know now is how much she needs to score in science to meet an overall average of at least 80%. Rather than typing in different numbers here and guessing, I am going to use the Goal Seek tool. To bring up the Gold Seek tool, make sure that the target cell is highlighted, the cell in which you want the expected results to be, and click on the Data tab and click on the Gold Seek button. The target cell is already set because we highlighted it already. Now I need to choose the Variant cell. The Variant cell is where the Gold Seek tool is going to enter the value. In my case, it's a science grade, so the cell E3. Now I'm going to put in the expected result, which is 80, and click on OK. Now, as soon as I click on OK, the Gold Seek tool is going to automatically calculate the grade that Haley Andrews needs to obtain in her science test to reach the overall average of 80. In this way, you can use the Gold Seek tool to get a particular result when you're not too sure of the starting value. This will not only save you time, will also be helpful to avoid unnecessary calculations.